Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here, coming to you from the Kansas Washroom. Hi, y'all. Uh, we have some breaking developments uh, happening right now in Israel. Uh, some rockets have been fired into southern Israel. Um, I believe it was four rockets. Three were intercepted. Uh, they were fired towards a uh, music festival that was going on um, during the evening hours, uh, outside, uh, thousands were running for their lives, okay, multiples amounts of, uh, people that have been taken to hospitals, uh, for shock, okay, for shock, no deaths reported at this time, we're gonna go through, though, what's been happening, what seems to be about the last five hours, well, it started last evening. Um, after I'd already done the video, okay, there was reports coming out, um, a possibility that uh, Hezbollah had shot down two Israeli drones uh, in their airspace, okay, before I went to bed last night. Um, the date today is Sunday. August the 25th, 2019, the time is approximately 4.30 in the afternoon, Central Standard Time. Okay, let's get to it. So, here we go. Uh, Nasrallah, the uh, head honcho over Hezbollah in Lebanon, and also the Hezbollah in Iraq, um, which they are lining together with Iran and the IRGC and all their little octopi of jihadists, okay? All right, let's start here. This was reported five hours ago. Nasrallah states an explosive suicide drone from Israel hit in a target in southern Beirut, causing material damage. This is the, quote, first act of aggression ever since the war in 06. This attack is a violation. If we are silent to this violation, it will lead to a dangerous course for Lebanon. We will not allow such attacks to take place. We will do everything possible to prevent such events from taking place. The Islamic resistance will not allow such events to take place, whatever it takes. The Israeli army is telling people in the north to live your lives the same. I tell inhabitants of Israel, do not believe for one minute Hezbollah will accept such aggression. Any Israeli drones that enter Lebanon from now on will be seen as attack drones. From now on, Hezbollah will confront Israeli drones in Lebanese airspace. Hezbollah will shoot down Israeli drones from now on. Yesterday in Syria, this is still Nasrallah going off, okay? Yesterday in Syria, area bombardment occurred. Netanyahu claims the target was Iranians. Yesterday, the Israeli warplanes launched a raid on a base for Hezbollah. There were two Hezbollah martyrs that fell. Those who fell were our brothers. Hezbollah will respond to any killing of its fighters. From tonight, I tell the IDF, stand on the wall and wait for us on the Lebanon border. What happened last night will not go without a response. Netanyahu is playing with your Israeli blood. He is bringing the Lebanese fire to you. We won't allow Lebanon to be subject to attacks. This is a red line. We, as a position of strength, will defend Lebanon. Now we will take action and defend our airspace. This is the new phase which the enemy has imposed. Okay, that comes straight out of the mouth of Nasrallah. We won't allow anyone to touch our honor, dignity, and existence in Lebanon. End. Okay, now we'll go on up here. Let's see here. Uh, 
coming out of Iraq, at least two PMF fighters uh, dead in new drone attack in the country's west, 15 kilometers from Syria border, says Hashid al-Shabi, without pointing any fingers. So it's either the United States or it's Israel, okay? Uh, this is just a reminder here that Iranian-backed Shia militias warned that they will attack United States targets if there are any more drone strikes on their forces in Iraq. Uh, this is an op-ed opinion. We may well see an attack by Lebanon, uh, Hezbollah on Israel, and an attack by Iraqi Hezbollah on United States forces in Iraq soon. Keep looking up, my brothers and sisters in Christ. We're going home. Glory, hallelujah, to the Lord Jesus Christ, the only Savior of the world there is. He is I am. He is the chosen one. He is the Almighty God. He is the King of Israel. Amen. Okay. Iraq paramilitary force says Israel is behind the latest drone attack. That came out three hours ago out of the AFP. Um, and there's also videos of the rockets being fired. We've seen those tons of times. Coming out of Israeli defense forces, they're saying three rockets were fired, two were intercepted, but... I've heard there was four and three were intercepted. It doesn't, I guess, really matter. Um, by Iron Dome, okay? That, that just came out three hours ago from the IDF. Uh, the last couple of hours, heavy movement of military vehicles reported along the Gaza fence in Israel. Um... The Gaza factions took the Qatari transfers, the Qatari money, uh, after threatening Israel with escalation, but still escalated the situation even with the Qatari money entering Gaza. Netanyahu feels the public pressure. He will act. Yeah, 16 treated for shock in the Sederot. That's where one of the bombs, uh, the rockets fell uh, near that... Uh, concert, outdoor uh, music festival was being held. Um, Israel, uh, Israeli cabinet to have an emergency meeting tomorrow regarding the north and the south. At the moment, we cannot confirm the exact location, but according to sourced, sources, it is either in the bunker in Jerusalem mountains or the Biet Agoin in the Rahavia area, not in Tel Aviv, okay, where they usually do it. Yeah, emergency forces are treating dozens of people with injuries related to trying to flee to safety, panic shock injuries after rockets were fired by Palestinian terrorists from Gaza during the music festival in Sidorot. Uh, and one of our contacts says, I left the phone for one hour, and all you know what broke out. <laughs> He's like, I left the phone for an hour. Uh, and then, Iranian-backed Houthi jihadists over in Yemen launched 10 ballistic missiles in Jizan in southern Saudi Arabia. So, that has happened as well in the last couple of hours. Um... Uh, the Houthis are claiming that the target was military aircrafts and Apache helicopters um, <laughs> that were taken out in uh, Saudi Arabia. 